What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we are doing episodes 29 through 32. Very excited. I do believe this is going to be the finale of the Barati, the Don Krieg, the Mihawk, all that combined arc. I'm curious. Obviously, I think we're going to be adding Sanji to the squad, but I'm curious where we're going to be going after this, what our next goal is going to be. I know we have to also go get Nami and regroup with Usopp and Zoro. So very excited. I say we hop right on into it. Don't forget, if you guys want early access and full length uncut up to eight episodes or one week ahead, check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always, for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, and don't forget to check out the social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop right on into it. One Piece, episode 29. I cannot read the title, but let's do it. This is all the size he needs. Not afraid of no all, I mean... We do have a considerable amount of area. That's a fair rebuttal. An explosion on a stick is pretty damn strong, especially with his strength, you know? The mobility, <laughs> the mobility is super handy. Oh. Okay, flamethrower wrist. I'm saying this man is Iron Man. Oh, gum gum Gatling. This is a fucking barrage of fists. I love how we can do it from such a long distance too, you know? All right, chore boy. We got the cooks on our side. He's tank. He's eating those though. Speaking of cooks, he's eating those. I agree, we did not make a dent in it, but is it the same thing as the spear? Are we weakening it to where we can break it? I love the metal clang it made, like a gong, you know? Just echoes and vibrates. I don't think we still even made a dent in it, you know? Did he feel that? That was an explosion right there. I mean, I guess. So we just... Gum gum bazooka. We just tanked that explosion. Went straight for... But we got some other explosions coming in. I knew we were weakening it. I knew we were weakening it. Like, there's a reason he's been doing this. Okay, that's what he's doing. He's sinking the entire area, so the foothold that we have is no longer there, and Luffy's gonna drown and die a horrible death. He's like, what? I don't even know how Luffy made it out of that. With the weakened armor too already cracked? Oh yeah. You're done for. You're done for. You're done. You're done. Oh my god, this guy's got a projectile net too. Are you serious? Oh, he's taking him with him into the water. Yep, this is... Uh, it's a dirty, underhanded play, but we know Don Creek loves to do that type of shit. Anchor boy. Oh my god. Gum Gum Twister? What is this one going to be called? <laughs> That's actually one of the coolest Luffy moves we've seen so far. Giant Gavel. Oh my god. If he, with that much momentum, you're spinning and downward. Oh yeah, Giant Gavel, you're not. You're so done for. You're done for. Oh my god. God. Yeah. This kid is something else. Truthfully, he is something else. Like, I I think Sanji's gonna jump in the water to save us because he's like inspired, remotivated from us. But I cannot believe we um 
their face is pretty accurate. That was pretty fucking incredible. This is Dawn Krieg we're talking about. Ideally, the strongest person in the East Blue, you know? And I love how that... Oh, I'm just now getting how much of a mirroring that is. How Sanji's jumping in the water to save Luffy. I think, I hope. Just like how Zef jumped in the water to save Sanji, you know? And it's Zef, the one who tells him to go do it. Oh, Sanji doesn't know about the fine print, yeah. Are hated by the sea? Is there anything deeper by that? You should have told me that sooner. Hell <laughs> yeah. Go save that boy, Sanji. That's my boy. I gotta, because they're called the devil fruit. And if there's like gods and stuff like that, the sea hates people who've contained, who've, you know, used this power. So it takes away the one thing that the sea can do. Like, I love the lore behind that. If there is something, if that's actually real, you know? Think about it. If Sanji's not doing what he's doing right now, One Piece would not be a show. Luffy would be dead. A steel net. What are we going to do about that? Oh, yeah. He's like, these guys are low-key different. He's now, you know, adding up these collective badass moments from the last, like, seven episodes. So, it's like, yeah, I get it. It's, he, oh, because he's talking, yeah, to give up your ambition to stay alive, you know, but your ambition is still in there. No matter how much you quelled that fire, it's still lit in there, Sanji. I have a feeling I'm going to be saying this a lot throughout this journey, but I just, I'm going to have so many goals. Like, right now, all I want is Sanji to make it to the all blue, and then for Zef to be right there behind him when he makes it, and for them to make just like a fucking delicious dish, you know? He's picturing it. That dream, man. I want that so bad. I want Luffy to go to the Grand Line, become the one. I want Zoro to be this. Like, I'm going to have like 400 grand bucket list goals by the end of the show. That's a Luffy move right there. Go from drowning to falling asleep. This man is pure adrenaline anymore. He's not even conscious. Again. Came to end it once and for all. Oh. Even after everything that happened between them, Gin technically betraying him. Don Krieg poisoning him. Gin almost dying. They're still, I mean, I respect it, but god damn, man. You know what? I would not be, something actually tells me I will see Gin and Krieg in the Grand Line again. True. Luffy inspires a, a lot. This kid did have a crazy ass fight, so he maybe deserves a nap. Shouts out Luffy. I can't lie. I don't want to pause it. I just want to mention this very, very briefly, but uh, I doubt anyone, I doubt Ruff or anyone's going to see this, but um, I do know Ruff Senpai. I'm sure you guys, if you guys are watching my One Piece, you guys have heard of him. Um, fantastic One Piece reactor, fantastic reactor, but he did like, he worked with like Minecraft builders and created like a Minecraft server, like based on One Piece. And I know I was reading his list of like the monuments and things they built in it. And I know for a fact they replicated the Barati restaurant in there. And like at the time I was like, oh, that's cool. It's a fun little thing to do. But now knowing and fucking having like just like a little 10 episode arc on the Barati, I want to play that Minecraft server, go check out all the places, Usopp's town, you know, where we met Zoro. I want to, oh, that's super cool. Shouts out Ruff for that. Meanwhile, we're back on the going merry with Nami. What is she thinking? She's going after Arlong, right? Oh, <laughs> Nami feels bad. Especially when she had such a resolve to say she doesn't care. She'll steal whatever from pirates because pirates are such assholes. She feels genuinely bad. Oh. Don't get me wrong. 
Bella Mir, son. Oh, and okay, more teases. Bella Mir. Okay, interesting. All right, on to episode 30. Let's do it. So we finally woken up. We do need to find the hat. Good. It is indeed. We are officially free. I get that. Feeling like they need you. Look how excited he gets. I can't wait to get there. I'm so excited. We're going to talk about it. <laughs> Look at Zeph listening. He sees that blind determination, that hope, and is that sparkle in his eye, you know? It's been a long time since he's seen him like this. They do not give a fuck. Hmm, I'm curious about this. Luffy's just eating. We know Sanji's biggest insult is if you insult his food or won't eat his food. My hypothesis is that they're doing this on purpose to drive him out. To just say, fuck you, Sanji, just leave. But obviously they love Sanji. But, you know, they got to get him out of here. Go, go follow your dreams, my boy. Hmm, I wonder if it's actually an ass soup. Might just taste like buns. Not a single drop wasted. <laughs> Even Zef said it. A billion. Man went out there to vent some anger, rightfully so. That's what I would assume. That soup. Yeah. I knew it. I knew that soup was bussin'. It's a Sanji soup. Come on, man. <laughs> He's just gonna put the whole ladle in his mouth. Luffy is hilarious. I knew they were doing this just to drive him towards his own ambitions, you know. You don't even know Zev. We've been wanting him forever, man. We that's our boy Sanji. Come on. Heck yeah. Sometimes you gotta hear that, my man. You need to follow your own dreams. I respect them, man. I respect it. No, what do you mean, Luffy? But you want him? Yeah, Luffy wants him to make that decision. What is going on? Is this a shark? Talk about a, an abrupt transition. We had a... Is that Yosaku or Johnny? There's Fishman Island? And he was with Johnny, Luffy, or Zoro, and Usopp. Yeah, go get Nami. What happened? Yeah. And what place would that be? Give me a name. I'm ready to write it down. The world building in this show is insane. Yes, we do. All right. He said it himself. He's going to join us as we're leaving with Yosaku too. Perfect timing. 
Oh, hell yeah it is. <laughs> and especially after Yosaku had uh, scurvy, right? Or whatever it was called due to malnutrients. He's like, let's go. I really like Zeph and uh, Sanji's relationship. You know that's a lie. I can't, I, like I'm saying, I can't wait for one day us to see the all blue. And I hope the very next minute we get there, Zeph is right behind us. Come on, man. I would love that to happen. I would love that. Ooh, that's the exact thing that um John Krieg wanted. Whoa, he wants. OK, I won't lie. I relate Luffy to me with that because it's kind of like getting a trailer for a new season of a show. You know, you watch it to hype yourself up to get a to get a glimpse as to what to expect. Just like that would be a glimpse as to what Luffy can expect. But just like Luffy and me, I like going in blind. I don't like watching trailers for anything. So I respect it, Luffy, honestly. I mean, I don't know specifically how old Sanji is, but he's got to have been here for at least like 10 12, 15 possible years, you know? So he's lived a long time here. He would cut himself learning how to peel. Those knife skills, especially as you're learning, that's rough, you know? I truthfully don't think this will be the last time we see Zeph, and I damn sure hope not. Clean. That was clean. Yeah. Come on. Come on, guys. That was clean. Don't catch a cold. Aw. I'm gonna miss you. I'll always respect you, old man, Zeph. You're one of the goats. Gonna have me start crying like fucking Sanji. God damn it. You know Sanji's trying to be just like a manly man, not let it all out, but... Hell yeah. That's the kind of appreciation and gratitude... You know, Zeph raised him to, you know, I respect that. Zeph's a real ass dude. Sanji's a real ass one as well. I've been told I'm going to be crying a lot watching One Piece. I won't lie. Oh, even Zeph. God damn it, man. Old man Zeph. Oh, these are some real ass men. Men should part without a word. But, you know, sometimes a few thug tears need to be shed. Honestly, it happens. God damn. Oh, I sure as hell hope so. And when we do, we're going to make you a fine ass dish, Captain Owner Zeph. Talk about an ending to an arc. God damn. What the hell? Where are we going? Nah, me. What are you doing, Missy? Way to set it off with a cliffhanger. God damn. Oh, that was an amazing arc. All right, on to episode 31. Let's do it. Still just getting over my tears from last episode. Look at that shot. I know there are actual fish out there that like have, you know, schools of them that jump through the rivers. I don't know if they have actual wings, but I know, like, hmm, sea life is crazy. Being on the ocean like this would be amazing, but also scary at the same time we just need to get our navigator back and we're chilling i completely forgot about sanji's infatuation with her infamous arlong that will that's what was on the wanted poster that is what we saw One million berry? Please, enlighten me, Yosaku. I'll take it more seriously than these two will. 
Okay. A fishman. That's what they mentioned last episode. Like an actual hat fishman? Fishman Island? Fishman Island. Okay. The three powers, the seven warlords of the sea. There's three powers, one of the seven warlords of the sea. I got to write this down. Government authorized? I know, right? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, are we getting teases to what they look like? Oh, I'm, mm, I can't, I can barely even tell. Okay. Jimbei. I have heard of him. That's one of the very small spoilers I know. Is I know Jimbei has like some sort of water ability. I like to let you guys know what I know in terms of spoilers when I know it. So I will let you guys know. I think I saw it in an RDC World video or something. I do know there's a character named Jimbei. They were comparing him to Kisame from Naruto. And they said Jimbei is dope. So I don't know anything else about him. But I am mad excited. So not even two episodes after, we're already getting the next crazy villain. That's a great question. I know, I would be just like Yosaku right now. I'd be like, you guys are not taking this seriously at all. Back here again. So we've been here before. Hometown. Okay. So this is one of the 20 cities in East Blue that Arlong has since taken over. Arlong Park. Is the, oh my, he does look like a fishman. He looks kind of strong as shit. He reminds me of a, of a, of a, of, a, of a, like a fishman character in Star Wars The Clone Wars called Rift Tamsin. Okay, these guys look funny. True. Okay, he's like that. Arlong is... He just doesn't care. Yeah, absolutely they are. This kid needs a vengeance. And Nami did that to technically save his life. Arlong would deal with him like it's nothing. I didn't know Nami kept that in there, but... Wait, Whoa, she works for Arlong? Wait, I thought she wanted to kill Arlong. Everyone here seems to be fishermen except Nami. Very curious. I am very, very curious. All right, we're here. Arlong Park. No, no. Zoro, you do not understand how strong these guys really are. Especially after what just happened with Mihawk. We come on. Come on. Rightfully so. I think he needs to be knocked out. Kokoyashi Village. Maybe she doesn't want Arlong to know about the Going Merry? Alright. Mission for Usopp. Let's do it. Oh, that's the thing about fishmen. They can just jump in the water and just can go right after you. And they can swim very fast. I'll never forget about you, big bro. Jesus Christ, they were so quick to ditch him. Yeah, there was. Not anymore. Oh, no, I didn't even notice that physically. I knew they were stronger, but 10 times is quite the difference. Oh, 
Who just tripping us out here? Who he thinks we're a fishman because of our nose? Yes. Oh, one villager. Captain Usopp. Knock him out just like he knocked <laughs> Zoro out. Yep. Yeah. That's got to be the monster that they brought from the Grand Line. Momu or Mumo. Is he going after the ship? Is he going after our ship that's on our way here right now? Okay, that's one way to eat a plate of rice. Lol. He is way bigger than I thought he was. Never say half fish again. They think they're the superior species. Whereas humans think they're inferior, but no, they're stronger. They can swim faster. They can breathe underwater. She obviously doesn't feel like this way. We saw before she even got here, she was crying, feeling bad about what she has to do, you know, but. Yep, she's got our long symbol on her. Alright, so I know we got a new ending, so let's watch this. Oh, Kuina, Zoro's backstory. We got young Luffy, young Zoro. We got new characters that maybe have to do with Nami. I know they're here. Usopp. We got Yasop and oh yeah. We got a young version of all our characters. I love this. Okay, I like this. Just the slice of life kind of vibes of the squad on the Going Merry. New islands to explore. So far, just for being a five-man squad, they're a squad. All right, on to episode 32. Let's do it. God damn, that is ginormous. That is not what I was expecting it to look like. What does it want food maybe it's used to the the shit ass just roasted pork that they've given him so that's some actual fine cooking like was able to it was able to... luffy this man's just swinging at everything oh my luffy are you serious I don't think he did. I think you saying feed me too or feed me. I I could never be on a ship with these guys. These guys are insane. We're at a grave it looks like. No Jiko. Ooh, I love me some tangerines. His sword looks kind of crazy. I think Usopp might inquire a little bit more about this girl. True. True. 
Mmm, something tells me she knows Nami, that witch that the kid is talking about. Your mom's still alive and you're out here just gi giving up your life like that? Oh. Give us some of Nami's backstory, please. Grew up in this very house. That is crazy. They're sisters. Adopted sisters. I see. I see. Some of the pieces are starting to connect. I think it... I think it relates to what um what she was just saying, Nojiko, how people endure this hard life or you know deal with it just for like some sort of long term long game. You know, I don't know. I'm curious. You know that hit her different. And now that Zoro knows that hit her different, he's going to play along. I mean, you can't swim when you're tied up like that. You'll die. Nami's not going to let him drown and die? What, I mean... I wonder what kind of position Zoro is trying to put her in right there. And she takes off her shoes and jumps in and does it. See, that's what I'm curious about. That is like literally giving up her her actual stance on everything, you know? So why would why would he do that? This is the gravestone I saw for a, a, a second last episode. I wonder whose gravestone that is. The foster parent? Yeah, that's horrible. The whole village. Damn. Yeah, I could see why a man like, or a fish man like him would have uh, ambitions like that, you know. Seems very attainable. Letting him out. So Nami definitely likes him. When we've known that, she was crying about. Interesting. Damn. Calling him out, but this is not going to lead to anything good, sadly. Now, with one person speaking out, the whole village is speaking out. Damn. I mean, I respect it. Don't get me wrong. This is horrible. You got to stand up to the people who oppress you, you know, but I know, right? He has the power to do that. He can wipe all you out. Usopp has had enough. Oh, I hear music. No. No, don't play music like this. <laughs> Stop calling yourself Captain Usopp. <laughs> Brave warrior as your legs are shaking. Oh, 
This man is strong as hell. He's picking up houses. So sometimes Arlong gets a little ahead of himself and his, you know, his other fishmen have to reel him in. He's just a very, I don't want to say petty, but a very, one of those leaders who you don't talk back to him. He will, you know, you know. Uh, yeah. They have such respect and are willing to put their lives on the line for again, but as soon as not, they all leave. The flowers were for the grave. I have to assume it's her foster mother. The seven million to go? Until what? That's why she's so obsessed with money, getting it as quickly as possible. She wanted to earn a hundred... She's buying the village from Arlong, so she needs seven more. Okay, he's got like the wavy fucking Hawaiian shirt with the fucking shit on it. Oh, I feel so bad for Momu. He just wanted to eat. <laughs> they literally kicked the shit out of this poor manatee moo cow hippopotamus thing. Damn, man. I want to watch more. All right. Talk about some episodes. Oh, man. What a great way to wrap up the Barati arc with everything. That episode where Sanji decided to leave and they put on that little fake act to get him out of there and all that. And everyone was crying, man. That that got me. That was the, I think that was the official first time like I've been brought to like serious tears. Like the Kuina backstory was really good. But I've been told I will be crying many, many a times throughout this throughout this journey. So I really enjoyed the way we are wrapping this up. But the pacing is still fantastic, in my opinion, immediately into the next arc. We are going to meet the fishman, you know, pirate Arlong. We met him. He is on equal strength or they said on par of Jimbei. And Jimbei, who's another fishman, is one of the pirate seven warlords on the level of mihawk which is insane to me so we're dealing with him kokoyashi village we got nojiko who was the adopted sister of nami can't wait to find out what's going to happen with all that they're really enjoying nami's like indecisiveness because she needs to do what she needs to do but she's obviously a good person at the end of the day so it's like it's a rough situation man but i want luffy here to whoop arlong's ass and i'm here for it so if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon for eight episodes ahead one week early access full uncuts all that don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad Peace out.